For every ballad from the hero of the story, there's usually an irresistible tune from the bad guy or gal we love to hate. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Broadway villain songs. Before we begin, we publish new content every day. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at those songs that we just can't get out of our heads, sung by the show's antagonist. Though tunes making their debut on the silver screen and anti-hero songs sure can be memorable, we're only including songs made for the Broadway stage from our favorite twisted villains. Daddy didn't talk much, he barely said hello. Number 10, The Bottom Line, Newsies. Trim a bit here and then trim a bit there. There are villains you can't help but love, but paper publisher Joseph Pulitzer is one we love to loathe. When he decides to charge the poor children selling his papers more money per hundred, forcing the kids to sell more to make a profit, we're treated to a shockingly upbeat song about his evil eureka moment. Give me a week and I'll train them to be like an army that's marching to war. It's hard to root for a villain this cold and cruel, but with the bouncy music and charming vocals, we can't help but hum along. Just a few common sense gents, that's the bottom of the Number 9. Candy Store, Heathers. I like looking hot, buying stuff they cannot. I like drinking hard, Max and Dad's credit card. In this musical retelling of an 80s cult classic film, many would consider JD the main antagonist. But this treacherous trio can't be denied their spotlight. After all, they're right there in the title. This is the scene where the Heathers show Veronica their malicious lifestyle with a realistic portrayal of high school dialogue and perfectly timed choreography. It's also a great way to show the audience exactly why we should root against them. These queen bees run Westerberg, and their strong vocals and harmonies have us wanting to join the hive. Number 8. Stars, Les Miserables. There, out in the darkness, a fugitive running. Not all villains know they're evil. Javert is the personification of lawful good. He's the foil for hero Jean Valjean, who, despite good intentions, is an unlawful man on the run. He knows his way in the dark. Mine is the way of the Lord. While the recent movie rendition of this song by Russell Crowe left many underwhelmed, others who have lent their voice to this ballad, such as Norm Lewis and Terrence Mann of the original Broadway cast, more than make up for it with amazing vocals and raw emotion. It gives us a rare intimate glimpse into the mind of an antagonist, and plants the seed to the question leading to the character's eventual demise. What does it mean to be good? Number 7. The Legend of Miss Baltimore Crabs, Hairspray. Oh my god, how times have changed. These girls must be blind or completely deranged. Velma Von Tussle is no one to, well, tussle with. When Tracy and her big hair and personality come to audition for the Corny Collins show, the producer Von Tussle is appalled. In this number, her pageant name becomes a well earned double entendre with her stories of sleeping her way to the top and not being afraid to play dirty in every sense of the word. This song begins the battle for inclusion that drives the musical's plot, and it's peppered with witty lyrics and dazzling choreography. Much like her name, this woman proves very, very hard to get rid of. You're just down with a case of Miss Number 6. You'll Be Back, Hamilton. You'll be back, soon you'll see, you'll remember you belong to me. This is King George III's first number in this critically acclaimed show. 
and what an entrance he makes. He tells the colonists that distance doesn't mean independence, threatening violence if they do not return to his rule. However comedic, his words light the match of the revolution, making this piece essential to the plot. Cause when push comes to shove, I will kill your friends and family to remind you of my love. Although many kings have conquered this tune, Jonathan Groff wears the original Broadway crown. And for good reason. His charisma and over-the-top accent will have you under his rule in the cast recording, no matter how tyrannical it may be. Everybody. Number 5. Little Girls – Annie Little girls, little girls, everywhere I turn. Though this story has had many adaptations over the years, one thing remains the same. Miss Hannigan is every kid's worst nightmare. When the titular orphan is invited to visit a mansion for the holiday season as a form of charity, it ignites a ball of anger inside the faulty caretaker, leading to a particularly twisted yet somewhat comedic song. That washes away any notion that she may be simply trying her best. If I ring little neck, surely I would get out. We can't help but wonder if she belongs in the nut house after all. Till the prohibition of <laughs> Number 4. Pretty Women Sweeney Todd the Demon Barber of Fleet Street. But first, sir, I think a shave. Closest I ever gave. You could cut the tension in this duet with a knife. Or rather, a razor. When the lustful Judge Turpin appears in Sweeney Todd's barber shop, Todd tries to lull him into a sense of security in order to murder him. Now then, my friend. Now to your purpose. While the sinister stylist sends shivers up our spine, Turpin's cadence in this deceptively upbeat tune outright creeps us out. Sweeney's melancholy words complement Turpin's shameless confessions of preying on young women, and we actually can't help but feel sorry for him. Pretty women blowing out That's something we thought we'd never say of the homicidal hair clipper. Yeah, here's to pretty women, all the pretty women. Number three, Last Midnight, Into the Woods. It's the last midnight. It's the last wish. Here's a life lesson. When you point a finger, three point back at you. This grim tale sweeps over interweaving scenes with plenty of memorable numbers, including a very creepy song sung by the big bad wolf himself. Look at that flesh, pink and plump, hello little girl. However, it's this song that's sure to haunt your nightmares. The witch calls out the play's heroes, insisting they are anything but. You're not good, you're not bad, you're just nice. I'm not good, I'm not nice, I'm just right. I'm the witch, you're the world. They do bad deeds and claim piety, unwilling to see the harm they cause. The creeping instrumental attests to the gravity of the situation. And at the end, the witch does what many of us often wish we could do in an argument and makes an epic exit. <laughs> Number 2. Dentist – Little Shop of Horrors When I was younger, just a bad little kid, my mama noticed funny things I did. This number might make you want to reschedule that teeth cleaning appointment. Orrin Scrivello, DDS, Audrey's abusive boyfriend, sings this song about the love he has for his chosen profession. But while some people go into the dental business looking to fix people's teeth, it's clear that the sadistic Scrivello prefers ripping them right out. You'll be a dentist. A dentist. You have a talent for causing things pain. 
Rampant Cruelty has never sounded this catchy, with a hip-shaken rhythm and some angelic harmonies from a chorus of backup singers. Just don't think too hard about the lyrics, and you'll be saying all ah, right along with Scrivello's victims. Sorry, patience. Say ah! Say ah! Now spit! Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Look for the blood in the water. Read your Thomas Hobbes. Only spineless snobs will quarrel with a morally dubious job. A hero flows, a new wind blows, and soon it will be spring. Now, it's I shall never tell he, he'd never heard of my name. Number one, Cell Block Tango, Chicago. Pop, six, squish, uh-uh, Cicero, lip shits. This musical is based on a straight play and uses its toe-tapping tunes to amp up its satire of the media's glorification of criminals. Case in point, Cell Block Tango. These vile vixens of the cell block recount with sensual choreography and passionate lyrics how each have mercilessly killed men who abused, cheated, or simply jilted them. It wasn't until later, when I was washing the blood off my hands, I even knew they were dead. They had it coming! Each villainess in the cell has her own side of the story, and a reason to declare not guilty. This is the perfect shower tune to belt out when Mr. Right turns out to be oh so wrong. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.